Hello everyone, Brandon Bassett from Bassett TV and today I'm going to show you how to mount your fishing poles onto the Rhino Rack rod slash ski holders. These rod and ski holders are very, very convenient. The Rhino Rack has, has made a great product here. You can fit up to four rods on these holders. Um, let's say you're traveling around and you don't want to put your poles inside your car. Um, or you don't want to leave them out in the boat and you want to lock them up and you want somewhere secure to put them These rod holders up here or these yeah these rod holders for traveling Basically sit inside there and the cover closes and it has a lock to latch them in You can either use just your rods and put your reels inside your vehicle So that way you don't have to worry about somebody stealing their your reels, but this is a very very good way of traveling with fishing rod holders especially if you don't have any cases or something to put them in. Um, basically what I'm gonna do today is walk you through how I install my rod, my fishing rods inside the rod holders and how I go about traveling. It's very, very simple, it's very, very easy, but yes, let's get to it. All right, so what you have is your two rhino racks, both mounted to your roof rack system. Um, each one has a push button on both sides that will pop these open. When they open up, you'll see you have these rubber pieces that are sitting on top of it and each one has four grooves. Um, these four grooves is where you can fit your fishing poles. Both of these pieces slide back and forth, so they're movable just to be cautious of. So the first thing you'll do is you'll grab your fishing pole, such as this, and basically what you're doing is you're setting your fishing pole on top of this mount. And what you're going to do is you're going to work this fishing pole into these grooves here, and it'll stay. Up here it's a little bit more of a hassle because the fishing pole is a little bit bigger. Uh, how that works, just lay it there. You'll grab your other fishing pole, do the same thing, figure out where the mount looks nicest, where it works easiest, and you'll slide it down, and you'll put it in there, and you will it'll hold it in. So there you go. That's two fishing pole holders sitting in there, and all you do is close this up. It locks it in through the rubber. Basically what it does is it sque squeezes this rubber together and it puts pressure on this fishing pole. And you can lock both, both of these up and then you can't get into these. Um, these are very secure. This is me pulling on it. It is not moving at all. These don't move. Like I said, you can transfer, you can transport your rods on this with no issue. Um, your reels you'll have no issue with as long as nobody steals them. You do have to worry about somebody taking your rods off your, or your reels off your rods. This is very convenient. You could fit up the four rods on this. Um, maybe more if you tried. You could fit two this way, two this way, going opposite directions depending on your roof system. My roof system is more towards the front of the vehicle. So I can only put my reels and rods, or my rods facing this way with my reels down here because of the way my roof rack system fits on this car. But yeah, that's how you mount your fishing pole holders to this rhino rack rod holder. Um, it'd be the same way if you had a ski, you'd open this up, you place a ski on there and you close it down and it basically squeezes that ski down. This is a very convenient way to transport your rod and reel. And the good thing is like this system here, I can put my, my traveling storage box that I have on this side of it. And then when these open up, it hits right against it and I don't have to worry about anything in between. But yeah, this is basically how it works. It's very simple, very easy. You put them in here, you slide them in the holes, close it up, lock it up, done. Good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, it is very easy to install your fishing poles on this Rhino Rack pole holder. Um, it doesn't take much to do it. As you can tell, they are secure, they're safe, they're hard to get out. 
Um, it does lock down, which is all good things. If you are looking away to travel with your fishing rods, this is a very convenient way. Um, I hope this helped you out. And if you're looking at purchasing this, or if you're looking at just advice on how to install your fishing pole holders or your fishing, pole, fishing poles on this, then I hope this video helped you out. Again, my name is Brandon Bassett with Bassett TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I hope you have a good day.